Okay, so what I probably should have did was left a little bit more sawdust on the floor. Um, I was doing a little bit of cleaning up and rearranging in the shop, and I came across um, this uh, wand that I purchased for my Dwarf Flexible vacuum that you can see down there on the bottom there. Um, it runs off of the 54 volt system or 60 volt system that they call it. And it's, uh, I'll have to look in my Amazon account to see exactly how much I paid for this. Basically you get this portion here, right? And then comparing that with the press tool option. Let's take a little bit of a look at them. Let's get the camera over here. All right. Okay, so if we take a closer look at both of the actual devices here, um, let's see here. So what we see, um, they're about they're about the same length. Well, the test tool is just a little bit shorter. All right. Um, obviously, the Dewalt is made out of metal primarily with some plastic on the inside. The tip is, is a plastic. It comes off and on with their proprietary connector. And the tip, the brush of it, I'm going to look at that, is, uh, it's got the kind of a box joint type of form as well. It is. It does not say it's dual branded or anything like that. But as far as um, build quality, right off the bat, I would probably go with the dual on the actual wand itself. Now, <clears throat> this one does not have any kind of a ventilation like the Festool. The Festool has this ventilation portion here. Um, what else can I say about it? Obviously, this one seems like it'll hold up better over time. Um, this one is composed of, let's take it apart. Of the four pieces, five if you consider this uh, connector piece here. On the outside of the test tool. It's also five parts. Um, the Festool, obviously the, the handle part, let's see here, yeah, the handle part is just one unit. Um, you don't have to worry about, well actually, it looks like this portion here can actually click out. There's a little uh, notch in there or it unscrews one of the two. So this probably can be replaced if you needed to replace it. Uh, the Festool obviously is more expensive, I believe. Uh, I will actually look that up and uh, go that. Now comparing both of the heads, if we look at them here, so this one here, it's got the little box joint uh, portion. It's got wheels to help it roll and the brush along the back. The Dewalt, it also has wheels. They actually look very comparable to one another. I would say that the Festool is a little bit bigger. Um, in the vertical area here. And as far as the width is concerned, um, they're pretty they're pretty similar. Actually, the DeWalt is probably a little bit wider this way because there's some bars for the wheels here. Um, what else do I notice about them? The bristles are taller on the Festool and the wheels seem to be a higher quality or they at least appear to be the um, I mean they're both plastic but the diameter of the wheel looks a little bit bigger on the festival as opposed to the Dwarf. Would not be surprised if these came from a similar factory but um, as you can see here this one rotates down here and this part is stagnant whereas the Festool rotates up at the hub. So yeah that's the uh, that's the design of both of them there. And so let's give them a little try with this small 
amount of sawdust that I have on the floor here and uh, put them both in their pieces, if you will. Now, obviously both of the um, accessories here, um, they go with the vacuum. So, as I said in the previous video, I've got the Festool CT48 Auto Clean. And then down here, let's get this one back in position. And then down here, I have the Dewalt. 54 volt flex bolt vacuum. Now the Dewalt, I don't expect it to be as powerful as far as suction in comparison to the Festool because the Festool is actually, as you say, as well as they say, mains power. So I don't expect to see the same kind of power coming from the, uh, the Dewalt, but we'll see. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get it connected. So this, the Dewalt has a proprietary connection. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. And it just goes on, and then you twist it to lock it. All right. Push this back over here. Now, obviously, I have it on a, uh, this is a T-stack here, where it has some versus stack because they're compatible. Um, but this mobile base is a separate cost. This is the Festool vacuum, and then I've got you know some versus stack, T stacks, and so on and so forth going up. But you can see similar functionality when you come to having you can put extra sustainers on top of the uh, Festool as well. Now, uh, the one benefit of the Dewalt that I would put over the Festool, which I mean I guess you can kind of uh, you can look at it a, a couple of ways. Prior to this year, Vestal did not have a battery powered dust extractor. They have changed that now. So they do have a few battery powered models. I don't know what they're like power wise in comparison to the Dewalt. Um, but one thing we do know about the Dewalt, the Dewalt runs on one battery. And um, so you have access to. Um, a fully battery-powered battery, battery powered device. Whereas this one here, you're gonna to have to provide power for it outside the home. Uh, the Dewalt, I can take it wherever I need to take it because it's battery powered. So anyways, this is gonna be a very short little uh, comparison. I've got dust here on the floor. So I'll just run one or two passes on one side with one and then on the other side with the other. And we'll see how that works. Oh, the Flexvolt actually um, has its own version of a battery powered or radio controlled. Um, I don't think it's Bluetooth, I think it's some kind of radio, uh, but I can actually activate the vacuum. It has to be... Okay, so there's three uh, positions for the button down here. You can have it on all the time or you can have it off, or you can have it in uh, the radio control um, mode. Um, as you heard there, the little bit of knocking, this vacuum does have auto clean, similar to the Festool. Now the one issue that I have with the Dual Flex Boat Extractor is that it does not have, they don't have replacement bags that actually fit perfectly in there. I did do a video a while back, um, my wife helped me to sew a kind of a cloth type of bag that's uh, got a zipper so it's reusable for this device. So uh, we'll see how it works out over time. But yeah, so let's give this a try. say it feels overly powered or anything like that, but I also wouldn't say that it's incredibly weak either. Let's go ahead and use the Festool and see how that works. 
Obviously, the Festool, I have the Bluetooth, so I have the button to power it on right here. basically run a separator with the DeWalt and I'm losing a whole lot of suction. It still works, but it's not nearly as effective as using the Festool. Now, of course, there's no technology. All I did was basically cut open some holes on a Versus stack and um, trying to get the same levels of suction, but I may revisit that in the future and try to make it a little bit more effective. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video. Thanks for taking time to watch. I'll see you in my next one. Take care.